Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in today. It's Erin Michelle here. So there's something that's been on my mind ever since Angelic Pretty announced the Honey Cake Made to Order last year. Is it going to be a lot different than the older release? Is it going to be very similar? In this video, I'd like to show the differences between the old and the new release. I'd also like to show you the differences between the bags as well. Unfortunately, I didn't get the new jewelry, but I do have the old ones. I have the old ring and the necklace. I've had those for a couple years and they have gone through just a little bit of changes, so I'd like to show that to you. So I just wanted to note, I don't have the exact same round cut of one of the older jumper skirts. However, I do have the switching jumper skirt in ivory. So I'm going to be comparing that to the new round jumper skirt. If you've been following me for a little while on Instagram, you'll know back in January that I didn't get my set like everybody else did. <laughs> Mine was actually delayed and I was literally one of the last people to get my order in when they were doing the MTO release in Tokyo. I had gotten off work that day and I rushed over and I think I ordered it in the last hour that you were able to. So yeah there was a delay with some of the bags as well and it wasn't until around mid-february when all the items came in so yeah i did see some comments online where people were speculating why some of the changes were made for example i saw that somebody made a comment where they said the fabric was changed to polyester to make the colors brighter or to make it easier to take care of i also saw another post where somebody said the new dress is actually longer now and I'm going to be showing you if some of those comments are true or false and hopefully it's a bit helpful for you. For this video, I'm going to be focusing on the ivory colorways and I don't have the older round jumper skirt, but I do have the switching one. And while they do have different measurements and cuts, I still wanted to compare the two so you can see the differences in colors and lace and things like that. One small change is the color of the brown ribbon. On the old release here, this ribbon is just a little bit darker than the new release. This is the skirt part of the dress and hopefully you can see the color a little bit. I think the older release has a more slightly yellow ivory while the newer one, it's just a little bit less yellow. The browns on the print are also just slightly different. Another really subtle difference is the lace that's used on the shoulder straps. So for the old release here, the lace lays pretty flat. While on the new release, it's a little more gathered, so it like kind of puckers just a little bit. So one really annoying flaw that the old version had was the buttons got cracks in them. So you can kind of see it here. Um, mine just have the cracks. They haven't like snapped off or anything. So I'm not sure if they do break, but they do get these cracks all in the front. For the new release, they don't seem to have that problem as of yet. As for the print on the bottom, both seem to use very vibrant colors. And while the colors are very similar, they're just a tiny bit different. The new release has a slightly darker blue here. Here are the reds for comparison. The reds are pretty similar. The oranges, the yellows, I think those are all very close to each other. So for the print on the bottom, I feel that these are just about identical. Both are pretty vibrant and very vivid. I have heard that the reds on the old jumper skirt can bleed though. Since it is cotton, there is a chance that it could run, but with the polyester version, the reds on the new version should be safe. If you look closely, the dresses are a little bit different in length. This is the older release in the front, and the newer release is just about one centimeter longer. I don't think it's even quite an inch. But there is a very slight difference in the length. One of the most noticeable changes between the releases are the fabric types. The old version uses cotton, which tends to get a little bit wrinkled even when you keep it stored in your closet, while the new version uses polyester. The polyester tends not to get as wrinkled. As you can see, there's just like a small wrinkle here. 
But for polyester, you don't have to steam it or get the little creases out quite as often as you do with cotton. Another change that I noticed is the use of tulle. The old release has a little bit of tulle under the dress. For the new version, unfortunately, there is no tool. Just kind of is a little bit flat. One of the most noticeable changes about the new release is the wider waist and bust measurements. So the old round jumper skirt, it did have full shirring, but the new one stretches a bit farther. The waist goes to about 117 centimeters, while the bust goes to about 127 centimeters. And for an AP dress, this is one of the biggest sizes that they've released to date. For me, I really like how it fits in the shoulders and in the bust area. This is a big difference compared to the original round jumper skirt. The bust goes to about 86 centimeters, and then the waist is about 69 centimeters. And I don't know what the max measurements are for the old one, but I'm assuming that's before it's stretched out. I would assume it goes a few centimeters bigger. Next up, I'll be talking about the head bows. So I have two different colors, but I will talk about just some small differences. The old release uses cotton, and then the new release uses polyester. And besides the fabric difference, I think size-wise, they're both the same. They both have the same headband. The only real difference I've noticed is that the lace in the new one, it's a little bit less, I guess, thick. It's a little hard to describe. I feel that it's just a little bit thinner. The older one just looks a little bit more full and has a few more ruffles in it. Well, the new one just seems a tiny bit more sparse and is more flat. I'm really glad that AP kept the head bow the same size. I love these ginormous head bows. They just give me like 2010 era sweet Lolita vibes. Next, I'll be showing you the old jewelry. So I don't have the new ones to compare, but I'll show you how they look. So this one is the ring. It's like plastic. And over time, maybe you can see it, the back of it has these little white bubbles. They almost look like a little layer of bubbles and they didn't have that when I purchased it. Likewise, the necklace has that as well. So the front is fine, but the back has just all these bubbles that appeared over it. This started happening about maybe three years ago I noticed it. I'm hoping with the new release that this was also addressed and hopefully AP used better material and that these little bubbles are not there. Last but not least, let's take a look at the bags. This is the new bag, and this one is the old bag. I think that the old one, it's not as squishy and doesn't have as much padding as the new one here. This one definitely has a thicker layer of like foam around it. For the old release, we can see that new is written in black letters, while the new version, the word new has brown. Also, the font is a little bit bolder on the new one. It's like a brighter blue color too. This one, it's not as bold and the blue is a little bit more subdued. Another small but noticeable difference is the lid. So you can kind of see the lid sticks out a little bit on the new one, whereas the old version, it just lies flat and there's no gap. So the one major bad negative point about the old bag is it just, like most angelic pretty bags, it flakes, it sheds, it's literally falling apart. So mind you, this bag is pushing like 10 years old, but it gets damaged really, really easily. So here's the back side of my old bag. It's just peeling everywhere. And a lot of my angelic pretty bags from years and years ago, they're made with this material. It's really bad. It flakes, I don't like it. <laughs> and I'm really sad that my old bag is starting to just crumble away. The new bag here, so it feels a little, 
thicker. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if it's the same material. It feels similar, but just like I mentioned, a little maybe stronger and thicker. Either way, if you did get the bag, just please be careful with it. Um, please note that it may flake and crumble over time. I haven't used the new bag yet and I haven't taken it out, but overall it does feel a little bit sturdier and they are the same size. So what did you think? Which release do you prefer, the old one or the new one? For me, it's a bit difficult. I do like both releases. I think they both have their benefits and their perks. Overall, I do kind of prefer the older cuts. They're just a little bit more nostalgic for me, and I do prefer cotton if I had a choice. All the polyester it's made with is really nice. I do just kind of prefer the cotton just a little bit, but I'd like to know what you think. Please let me know down below in the comments. All right, so that's all for today and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.